Live from Studio 2A, this is Pix11 Sports Desk. So after winning the World Series in 1969, the Mets, Tug McGraw, Nolan Ryan, and Tom Seaver went on the Ed Sullivan Show and sang You Gotta Have Heart, which of course is from the musical Damn Yankees. Now 45 years later, Pix11's Mario Diaz introduces us to one Mets fan who has a tremendous heart and a tremendous passion for baseball and the Amazons. I say it all the time, but you know, my favorite thing to do is, is just to have a catch. Will Gerhardt has a heart like no other for baseball. I realized this when I first met the 21-year-old miles away from his high school field in Wachung, New Jersey. The Syracuse broadcast major wanted to shadow me and learn about the industry. As it turns out, I learned much more by listening to him. So when I was 16 years old, I had a sudden cardiac arrest. I had no heart rate for a couple of minutes. You know, my pulse was, was dead for, I believe it was about two to three minutes before. That means you were dead. Correct, yes. For the next three days, Gerhard was in a coma. The sudden cardiac arrest was not due to being out of shape. Instead, his heart was inflamed, paralyzed by myocarditis. Additionally, the lack of blood flow and oxygen to the brain produced temporary damage. For a number of months, I had to go to brain therapy to kind of get my brain working again. The doctors told my parents originally that there was no chance I would ever play a sport again. As the old saying goes, where there is a will, well, let's just say that this will found his way. After pitching two years with his high school team, Gerhardt eventually moved on to Syracuse, where he tried out for the squad. I got cut my freshman year. Then weeks before tryouts his sophomore year. Long story short, I fell backwards and fractured my skull. And um, that was another two weeks in the hospital. I'm going to play baseball until someone tells me I'm not good enough. That has been Gerhard's mantra since his near-death experience. Finally, last fall, no one told him he wasn't good enough. I finally made it. But there was a catch. He could not bat, not because he was a pitcher, but because of the lifesaver implanted in his chest, an internal cardiac defibrillator. It basically monitors my heart rate, makes sure things are good, and uh, if I ever need an extra boost or an extra shock or something, it would, it would give it to me. 87 mile per hour fastball and a defibrillator. <sighs> On a good day. On a very good day. And as for a great day, the answer there is simple. Gerhard would be pitching on a patch of grass in Queens for the team he has cheered for his entire life. At City Field in New York, Pix11 Sports presents New York Mets baseball tonight. So hours before a recent Mets-Cubs game on Pix11, Gerhard decided to shadow me to City Field for what he thought was an investigative report on shady middlemen in baseball. Mets. Pitching coach Dan Worthen played his part well. You know, there's a, a growing concern. That is until the Mets and I, through Gerhard, the biggest curveball of his life. Will, you want to go throw a full in the bullpen? Sure. That's right. The kid with an 87 mile per hour fastball and a defibrillator was going to pitch at City Field. Oh my God. His family was in on it and surprised him. They also brought his favorite glove. And with Victor Black at his side, Will was off. What are you studying at? Journalism. Along the way, he met a few Mets. Will, this is uh, Bartolo Colon. He dressed in the Mets clubhouse took to the field the same way the players do. I just got to stretch my hips a little bit. Loosened up in right field, warmed up under the scoreboard, and even received very, very advice from skipper Terry Collins. By the way, don't get hurt today. Then after some tutelage from more than... And that thumb should be all the way under there. Gerhard fired away. And with pitch, after pitch, after pitch, his heart stronger than ever. He was living out his dream. I couldn't even put a word to it to describe how amazing it is, to describe how amazing just this whole experience is. I mean, I'm sitting in the Mets dugout, and man, <laughs> I never thought this would happen. And as Gerhard walked away from this day, it should be noted that Major League Baseball has never had a player with a defibrillator. But as evident, this pitcher's heart is too big and his will too strong. I'm going to play baseball until someone tells me I'm not good enough. For the Pix11 Sports Desk, I'm Mario Diaz. Now, well, as for Will's family and their reaction to his incredible story, his mother tells Mario that Will has lived up to his name in every way. That's going to do it for the Pix11 Sports Desk. Thanks for joining us. A couple more weekends left to the summer. Enjoy them, folks. I'm Scott Stanford. Good night, everyone.